Wilma? What do you want me to do? Deliver. What do you want to deliver? Beer. I do not know where the beer is. Please tell me its location. Kitchen. Are you sure there is a kitchen? Yes. Where do you want it delivered? Room center. Yes. I have a plan. It's Friday afternoon here at the Gamma 2 Robotics Lab. And after a long week of robot engineering, we're ready to kick back a little bit. And kicking back means one thing, beer. We design autonomous robots that go into people's homes in order to help them have higher quality of life while they're living there. The elderly can age in place, people with mobility problems have a system that can carry things around the house for them. In this case, I've directed the robot to get me a beer. They're autonomous, which means they take that goal and determine their own manner of achieving it. They develop a plan, they execute that plan, and when they encounter obstacles, drifting off course, the normal types of things that happen in somebody's house, they correct for it on the fly. So you'll notice the robot may reorient as it's traveling. That's because it knows where it is, it knows where it's going, and it's correcting its course in order to get there. Our robots are also very polite. They say please, they say thank you. They expect humans to also be polite, but it's not a requirement. In this case, the robot was given the task of bringing me a beer. It knew the layout of the lab. I told it the beer was in the kitchen. It traveled to the kitchen, asked someone there to give it a beer to deliver to me, and it is now working its way back to bring me my beer. It remembers where I was, it reorients, and it brings the beer right to me. They don't really understand hand gestures. Thank you, Wilma. You are welcome. Complete the delivery. What do you want me to do? Wilma, be quiet. What do you want me to do? Wilma, be quiet. What do you want me to do? Oh well, Friday afternoon beer bot. Take eight. What do you want me to do? Please sleep. Yes.